He's having a seizure. Who will survive? A strong subject. <laughs> There, he's opening his eyes. Save him, Fuller. I, I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what did you do to me? Undo these straps. Whoa, go easy, my friend. You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was... he was dead. Me too, we... we were dead! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! What happened to me? Where am I? <laughs> Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. No, you don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. Stop the rises up. You there. Wake up. Come on, stand up. We don't have much time. Can you stand up? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me... So full of drugs, I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Uh, wait a minute. What's going on here? What do they do to the patients to make them so terrified? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment. 
for problems they didn't have before going downstairs. But this is neither the time nor the place to talk about that. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. What does this mean? What did they inject him with? Am I in an asylum? Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. Sarah? Why the strange symbol repeated over and over? What did he write about the painting? If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. Dr. Pruden, I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doctor. Damn it. I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Ford doesn't Good God. What could this machine be used for? It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. Have I activated anything? This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. I can still increase the load. Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. Dementia? Self-inflicted wounds? Anatomy? Anthropology? Nothing surprising.
It's done. Now for the others. What is welling up inside me? I feel it in my head and in my body. It grows and swells and has strength of oceans. Its waves rise and crash, leaving behind them only a trail of white nourishing foam. He is my master. Yeah, you there. Come here. What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. Locked. Exactly what I need. He'll find me! He can see me! Let's calm down, please. No! No! Ah! It's locked. Pain is just information, dear Francis. Invaluable information for my re research. The green gas leaves from here, and it runs through the whole building. If you don't kill me, he will. My poor friend, I fear your mind is lost forever. Perfect. It's locked. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push.
This lever must turn on the gas machine. There's nothing happening. The control wheel is missing. This valve controls the pressure. The control wheel is missing. I could use this control wheel to turn the valve I saw. So, have you got him? Not yet. Hurry up, if you don't want them to find you. What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? I can still increase the load. Worse and worse. Vats of rotten flesh? An elaborate electrical system? Like a dumb pulp novel. Do the cops know what's going on? Perfect. I saw something over there.
With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. Where do they keep their sleeping pills? Scopolamine, morphine, my new friend's sleeping pills. I've got what you want. Show me! There. And remember, they don't come for free. Don't you worry, you'll have your diversion. Go on now, go hide yourself. The crows! They're everywhere! Make them go away! Help! 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 The birds! They're attacking! That nonsense again. What? Carnage. All the levers are activated. That should draw the attention of the guards. I should hide. Damn it! What's going on? Is there somebody? Gotta let Fuller know. We can bet he'll blame us. Doctor, is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes! And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore! The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings! You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. 
the legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. Don't look at it! That's how it finds you! What finds me? Sarah Hawkins' visitor! The Shambler! Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. Sanders! What the hell? Oh God. I got I gotta must get what? This oh is insane. What killed him? to move on. Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? <sighs> Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you alright? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things... I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? I have flashbacks. They haunt me. 
What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Radley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Seems you two know each other pretty well. It's a tiny island. Everyone knows everyone. Especially since I'm a police officer and Marie's a doctor. The chemistry is obvious. I do seem a little bit stupid, don't I? <laughs> anyway. Let's get back to the business at hand. I found a Darkwater PD badge. Lost a colleague recently? What the... Bradley. Ethan? I'm all right. I just had a... That's gone. You're sure? If it's important, it'll come back. But I can't explain why Dr. Fuller would have that badge. The man's a danger, believe me. What can we do, Pierce? Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh... Then what? I... Uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital, and called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? 
Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. He's right. We can't ignore the truth. But it could drive her mad. Better madness than ignorance. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. The other night's events are still confused in my head. <laughs>